Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2018 video tutorial. As I was asked many times how to model a car, I want to show you at least a start, how to get images into your software and arrange them with the correct scale in 3D. Okay, so let's have fun with Inventor. So where could you find drawings or images for free? Go to theblueprints.com and there are a whole lot of drawings and images for free. So I searched for BMW and I took one of those and I've downloaded that picture. You have to register for free to get the large picture. Yeah. Then I cut and saved those views with Word and I saved them as JPEG and as PNG. With PNG I can make them transparent all the time with JPEG it works sometimes and sometimes not. So I would advise to go for a PNG format. Now let's switch back to Inventor. You need some sketches. So go for a 2D sketch. And I will select the front plane, that's the XY plane. And I will insert an image. And this will be the BMW front PNG file open. Put it anywhere. Okay. Now let's draw a line. I want to scale it and to move it to the origin. So I need a line which goes from here to that end point right there. Okay, give it a dimension, confirm, then I will put a point right here and one above the center of this line because there should be my origin. Okay, now move all of these with that base point to the origin. And done. Now I want to scale it. So go for scale. I want to scale these base point should be that one yes and yes because there's a dimension and the scale factor should be in this case 2005 divided by 66 column 294 column 294 and apply and I'm done yeah, that's, so that's almost 2005 yeah this worked pretty well I can delete this I can delete the line and I could leave the point there or I could remove it Okay, finish that sketch and I forgot to make it transparent, but you can leave it like this. Depends how or which way you prefer it. So I will go back to my sketch and go to the properties of that picture and use mask. And now it's transparent. 
and finish that sketch. Now I want to make a sketch for the side view. So go for start to the sketch and choose in this case the Y set plane. Again, import an image, and that would be in this case the BMW side P. Open, put it somewhere. You have to rotate it and scale it. So, first, I want to rotate it, rotate that picture with that point. In this case, it's 270 degrees. Done. Now, let's draw again a line. From here, over there, okay, give it a dimension, and I put again a point in the center. There's the center, and I need one on that line. Okay. Now, you could first scale it and then move it, doesn't matter. I will move it first with that base point again to the projected origin point here. And I'm done, and I want to scale it. Select the picture, select the base point, yes. And the scale factor should be, that's 458, 4580 divided by 155 column. Two, three, eight, and apply. I could, of course, delete this one. And that point, and that point as well. Go to the picture, properties, and use mask. Finish that sketch. So if you want it, have it in the middle. Of course, of course, if you don't want it like this, go back to sketch two. Just move it once more. Move the picture. Use a space point. A point right here. and move it to the origin point and I'm done finish the sketch and it looks like this so I need the top view I go for another sketch on this plane again insert an image that would be the in we top PNG file, open it, put it somewhere. I have to rotate it again. So select it, select the rotation point, maybe this one, and it's again 270 degrees. Done. Now in this case I don't necessarily need a line. Oh yeah, of course I need a line just forgot I have to s that's the center of this one because I cut the picture like this okay give it a dimension confirm now I want to move it first Select it, use that point as space point, and move it to the origin. Done. Then scale it, 
I want to scale all of these. Base point should be in that one. Yes and yes. And the scale factor should be the length was 4580 divided by 155 colon 461 and apply and done so that's almost 4580 that's a nice result again go to the image and make it wire the properties with use mask transparent finish the sketch now I want to have the back view over here so I need a plane so go for a plane with a distance to the XY plane that one in that direction and that would be minus five or well, four five eight zero and I want this plane to be before those sketches then I do a sketch on this plane insert an image that would be the BMW back PNG file put it somewhere I don't have to rotate it but I need a line to scale it so go for a line you could flip it if you want but it's not necessarily symmetric but see that's not symmetric there's a feature which is not over here so draw a line from the center of this one to the center of that one dimension it so you got the scale factor then I need a point, I will go for the center point here should be there it is and draw one up there ok move it use that point as Face point, and this should go to the projected origin point over here. Done, and now I can scale it. I want to scale here this one, the line, and the dimension probably. So, like this. As base point, I want to use the origin. Yes and yes, and the scale factor would be one eight zero four, one eight zero four divided by sixty column seven six four. 60 column 764 and apply and done let's take a look here yeah, that's another nice scaling result and go to the image properties and make it with US mask transparent okay and finish sketch now I want to hide the sketches because the picture will pictures will not be hidden so I hide the sketches and hide the planes and I'm done and then you can start to model your car 
So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked it, please give it a like. If you want to see more of modeling a car, give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you and give it some likes over there. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. And I will do this exercise in all the programs where it's possible. See you to the next one. Bye bye.